Lenny's my big brother. He used to tease me all the time, but he don't no more. I learned my lesson the time Mom went away, and I had to take care of Joey. Me and my friends played a joke on him. Some joke. He made me believe that I shot him dead. So I ran away from him. And he took the six bucks my mom left for shopping money. I was going to hide, but I thought I was cornered by the cops. So I ran up in the station and went on a train. And it took me to Coney Island. When I came home, Joey wasn't there. I was in Coney Island. I was riding around and around on the merry-go-round. Boy, was I dizzy. He's still dizzy. No, I take that back. I ain't gonna tease him no more. After the merry-go-round, I went on little boats and big boats and a roller coaster and threw barrels and on the slide. And I ate hot dogs and popcorn and watermelon. And I drank soda. Boy, was I full. Then I saw a real live pony. And I wanted a ride on it. But I didn't have any money, because I spent all of it. I was wondering where to look for Joey. When my mom called and said she was coming back next evening at 6 o'clock. I didn't know what to do, so I just sat there looking out the window. I had no more money, so I began to think of Lenny, how he was dead, and I wouldn't be able to go home. I was feeling sort of sad. Then I saw this kid collecting bottles on the beach. Then he showed me how to give the bottles back to get money, so I did it. When I got money, I rode around on the life pony like a real cowboy. I was having fun. Then the man asked me who I was with, and I got scared that he would call the cops. I knew that would be the electric chair, at least. So I ran away from him. Then I walked around looking at things. stood there. I must have been tired because I fell asleep. And I fell asleep on the chair by the window. Yeah, we both slept with our clothes on all night. Anyways, when I woke up, it was the next day, but there was nobody around. So I went to the pony ride and waited. When the man came, he let me help him with the ponies. That pony man was smart. He got Joey to tell him his name and address, then he called me up. And I said, keep Joey there and I'll be right over. But when I got there, Joey was gone. I saw the pony man talking to a cop. I thought he was going to turn me in, so I ran away. I told the pony man the whole story, and he said to go to the police. I said I would, but I decided to find Joey myself, so my mom wouldn't find out about the joke. I looked all over Coney Island, no soap. I was there. So were a million other people. It was like looking for a noodle in a haystack. It was getting later and later, and then it started to rain. I began to think of Joey all alone in the rain, and I decided to go to the cops and confess the whole thing. I went to look for a cop, and then I saw Joey. I said, what'd you run away for? It was only a joke. And I said, why didn't you tell me? 
So he went home and got there just before Mom. When she came in, she saw her eyes. And she said, too much television. So she said, next weekend she was going to see we got some air. She said that she was going to take us to Corny Allen. <laughs> 